The defending Colonial League and District 11 3A champs entered Wednesday's matchup with the Crusaders at 5-2 in Colonial League play, while Notre Dame was coming off a huge 2-1 victory over Moravian Academy and looked to keep it rolling on its home field. Spartans got on the board early in this one. Josh Harlow off a punt from his keeper finds the back of the net just two minutes and 50 seconds into the contest. A score that stayed in favor of the visitors all the way till halftime. Complete flip of the script though in the second. Crusaders absolutely dominating the play leading to multiple opportunities early in the half. Then just five minutes in it's Hunter Zellers who finds room at the top of the 18. The flighted ball drops in for the tying score as we got a 1-1 game with 35 left in regular. Then just four and a half minutes later, Paul Hartman on the delivery. The free kick finds the head of Zellers, already a brace for the senior, but most importantly, a one goal edge over the Spartans with just under 30 to play in this one. Southern Lehigh will find the equalizer though, the play starting off the throw in on the far side. A scramble in the box, Crusaders unable to clear before Matt O'Neill punches it in off the one touch. That goal evens the score at two apiece and sends us into overtime. Once again, the Crusaders creating the better chances on frame in extra time. Another free kick finds the head of Zellers, but it'll sail wide this time. No score through one OT, so we head to a second. Cambone gets a crack at it with nine to go. However, it's Micah Torado with a nice defensive play to keep us notched at two. But just four minutes later, here comes Bone again. He needs just one to beat. The touch inside will beat his defender, and then who else for the easy finish? Hunter Zeller sends in the game winner, a hat trick for the senior forward, and Notre Dame takes it by the 3-2 final score. Uh, it's huge, right? We got some guys that can perform and score goals. Uh, Hunter scored a hat trick today, so his first hat trick of his career, I think. So that's, that's good for him that he stepped up uh, and, and came to the occasion. I think it was it was honestly all about the energy. Everybody on this team's taking everything personal this year. Every every game's got to be a win, and we just we carried that out and we won the game. With five games left in the regular season, this Crusaders team coming on strong at the right time of the year, hoping to carry this momentum during a seven-game win streak all the way into the playoff picture. We're just starting to kind of put the pieces together. You know, like uh, we had a slow start. We played some tough teams. You know, Blue Mountain. Topahawken and Northwestern. We started off one and three, but uh, when you start off one and three, it's, it's, it's easier to, to go up from there, you know. So uh, we really were able to start getting our getting our starters to perform to their potential uh, as the season went on. They started to get more comfortable playing with one another. So it's just been good so far. On the scene at Notre Dame, I'm Cassie Schmidt for the SC Network.